I was just going to say, you think the fact that Russia is wanting to negotiate is a proof of weakness now. They know they can't take the country. They know they can't take Kyiv. So they're desperate to come away with something. Should that be read by the Ukrainian side as, hey, we can win this war and we can push them out of the Donbas region? First of all, I never, uh, we never give up. And first of all, we never have any doubts that uh, Ukraine will win. But please don't be uh, underestimate the Putin tactics. Putin, when he said that he withdraw his troops from Kiev, this is not true. Right. This is the again the de-escalation of Putin. He just take it for the regrouping in the Chernobyl zone, for the new attack against Kiev. We in Ukraine and me as a first, as a fifth president, don't have any illusion that Putin will continue to attack us. And that's why the shortest way to the peace, shortest way, would be supply weapons to Ukrainian armed forces. What, because that's what aren't peace. you getting from the United States and NATO that, that you would like? First of all, we uh, kind of weapons. We need anti-aircraft missiles because we cannot give them the airspace above the civilian object you see here above the nuclear power station and this is definitely we should uh, a significant element for our victory we definitely need anti-tank uh, rocket launcher we need the tanks and armed personal vehicle and this is not a fortune because i uh, can tell you as the supreme commander-in-chief of ukrainian armed forces for five years uh, now, we can have uh, 300 tanks and uh, maybe 1,000 armed personal carrier. This has completely changed the whole picture of war. Right. Please help us to save you.